Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and that chewing noise you can hear in the background is my cat. <laughs> Get ready for the weirdest and wildest and possibly fakest leak that we've ever seen for Total War. Creative Assembly reportedly working on a Total War Star Wars game. Oh boy. Oh boy. A reliable source has told Dual Shockers that one of the three new Total War games in development will be a Star Wars themed game. Okay, so I think I know who this reliable source is, and if it's who I'm thinking of, well, that source is about as reliable as your father saying that he's going to come back after buying milk. But either way, let's humor this because eh, it could be kind of interesting. So this is all the information that is actually new in this article. A total of three new Total War games are in development at Creative Assembly, with one of them being officially licensed Star Wars game Dual Shockers has learned. Then they talk about Pharaoh, which, eh, and that's it. Yeah, so uh, we go to the second section here, which is, as of October 2023, Total War Star Wars was reportedly the second of the three new Total War games that are allegedly in the works at Creative Assembly, with new Total War games often released annually aside from 2021, which is uh, the first year without a mainline Total War game since 2024. It's possible that Creative Assembly is gearing up to release Total War Star Wars in the next couple of years, with, but with the next three games reportedly in the works, there's no way to know which is the furthest along in development. Okay, um, it's been more than a minute, so I can swear now. Bullshit! <laughs> I call bullshit. I really, really doubt this, man. Because there's no way in hell we've all heard the rumors about Total War 40k. It's not just coming from Total War YouTubers. It's coming from people like really leak-heavy sources like Valrak. They're not going to do two space games. Games Workshop would not allow it. They would slap down Creative Assembly. I know Games Workshop much better than a lot of people, and believe me, they would not allow for competition to take away from their, basically, golden goose. Actually, if Warhammer Fantasy was the golden goose, then this one will be platinum, or diamond, but yeah. I really, really doubt this. The rumors have been loud enough, and it's been spoken about by a lot of content creators, myself included, Legend, Total War, and so on. You know, people who actually understand Total War and pretty much have been predicting stuff very correctly lately. The general rumors have been Empire 2, Medieval 3, and Warhammer 40k, and that's pretty much, I think, what stands here. Now, it is important to note, however, that Creative Assembly did eye up the potential of doing Star Wars originally. A while back, they were looking at potential fantasy titles, this was before they had settled on Warhammer. So Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Warhammer, and a few others. I know this because I've asked, and also there have been some talks with ex-members of Creative Assembly who like to spout out a lot of stuff on Twitter. So unless this leak is extremely old and maybe Dual Shockers is using Internet Explorer, actually Internet Explorer is dead now, I very, very much doubt it. It would be cool, don't get me wrong, it would be nice to get some sort of game set in the Clone Wars, being able to use the uh, Confederacy stuff because I'm a big fan of the droids. But I do feel like if something like this was to happen, it would be way down the line. It could also be that originally when they looked at it, the licensing was just too expensive. Remember, the reason why Lord of the Rings pretty much hasn't happened is because the license is too expensive. It's also very important to note that fake leaks will pop up a lot, especially whilst we're in the lull of there's not a new game in sight just yet. I imagine that we'll hear about one starting from next year, 2025, leading on to 2026. That's where all the rumors have been coming from. But this is a typical thing, man. At some point, didn't people say that we were going to get Med Free last year, and then Med Free the year before that, and then Med Free the year before that? Um, yeah, it, it happens a lot. It's like, oh yeah, my source told me that Med Free is happening right now, and Attila 2 is happening right now, and... I don't know, Alien Isolation 2. That being said, I would love an Alien Isolation 2. I will say one thing about this leak, though. It's given me a nice chuckle, which was kind of needed, so I appreciate that. But I very much doubt that this is real. If it ends up being real, I'll eat my hat. But again, this article was mostly just going, yeah, Star Wars is happening. By the way, Pharaoh, which is the most information in the article, and then more talk about hyenas. It's like, yeah, we've moved on now. We've moved on. Total War Star Wars could be cool, but I think 40k is first, and it's just it just makes so much sense. They would both demand to be a trilogy, that's the thing. Both of the potentials would have to be trilogies. That would be way too much double dipping that Games Workshop would allow for. And remember that the uh, contract that Games Workshop has with video game companies is pretty freaking brutal. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below to start a discussion. This one was quite funny, I must admit. I'll leave the article linked in the description, and I'm going to drop my own spicy Total War leak. 
The next game is actually Total War Equestria. Yes, My Little Pony and Total War merging for the ultimate Total War game. Bloody, brutal, and magical with loads of friendship. Yeah, <laughs> this is kind of funny. All right, I'll see you soon. <laughs>